All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Stock Market Outlook video brought to you by DeepView. You can learn more by clicking the link up above right now, as well as down below in the description. Highly recommend checking it out and giving it a shot. Uh, as always, we're gonna run through the market indexes, key themes and groups, and also talk through the individual leaders as of this moment. So starting with the market indexes, QQQ above a rising 21 EMA. We lifted off that moving average nicely, uh, You know, ended the week with some consolidation. Uh, going over to the IWO, very similar action. We pulled back in towards this prior pivot, lifted off of that um, you know, at the start of this week and gave a little bit back today. The QQQ was a little bit stronger, more like an inside day uh, here on the IWO. We're giving a little bit more back, but just in general, a lot of stocks did something similar, nice lift and then some consolidation, a little bit of pullback to end out this week. Uh, but overall, in terms of the indexes, we are still in that uptrend. This one still hasn't quite gotten going like the QQQ and SPY, uh, which have been trending nicely above their moving averages for quite some time. IWO would love to see this kick in the year and uh, really start trending like it did in this period right here. Uh, that's really when you get the best opportunities. But right now, we're just still kind of basing. And even though we're above the 21 EMA, we haven't really started uh, really you know, trending above that moving average, which in an ideal world is what we start to see in the coming weeks. But I like um, you know, this week's action, a little bit of pullback and love to see some reconfirmation uh, to start out uh, you know, the next week. Uh, moving on to the key themes, we've got the ETFs here sorted by the five day percent change. Uh, you can see MSOS was the top performer this week. Blockchain was also quite strong. That's nothing new. We've been talking about blockchain being a key theme uh, with Coinbase, MSTR, um, all those names doing incredibly well. Um, you've got QLD, the leveraged tech ETF up here as well, semiconductors here. Uh, so kind of goes back to what's actually been leading. Uh, but you know, most ETFs were up this week. Uh, looking at the worst performers, we've got silver, uh, the miners here, uh, ArcG Genomics. Uh, so there's a little bit of weakness in those areas. And looking specifically at today, which is Friday's action, let's sort by uh, price percent change today. We have semiconductors up slightly. Uh, NVIDIA, which we'll take a look at in just a second, was very strong today, up about 3%. That's really been um, you know, the institu institutional leader, which if you have been paying attention at all, uh, th that's the case. Um, but most things gave back a little bit today and retraced, retraced a little bit of those moves. So in terms of themes, uh, semiconductors, AI, uh, that continues to be you know the number one. Um, blockchain right up there along with it. And uh, we'll see how that develops. We did see last week some, some basically rotation into oil and gas names, some more cyclical, more defensive groups, uh, but it's nice to see kind of tech rebound nicely uh, this week. Moving on to the mega caps, let's go ahead and start from the top, we've got Tesla, uh, just in a downtrend at this point, you can keep it as simple as that, uh, has yet to really start forming higher lows and higher highs. Um, it's below that 21 EMA, so until that you know, switches and still that kind of transitions to an uptrend, not much to say here. Um, and uh, yeah, you've got a lot of you know stage three type action up here, um, and just is in a short term and longer term downtrend as of this moment. Uh, Microsoft, this is what we like to see, higher highs, higher lows, progressing nicely from this base, formed another base in this area. You can see we tried to break out uh, to end out last week, pulled back, held that 21 EMA. You often see this, formed a range, and now rebroke out and closed pretty much right near those highs, look strong, and love to see maybe a few more days of chop up here and then reconfirmation and continuation of this nice trend, but really strong look from Microsoft. Uh, Meta also very strong, nice uptrend, uh, has progressed well now since this earnings gap up, uh, found support at that 21 EMA and had a pretty pretty nice end uh, to last week. Amazon a little bit weaker, but similar type action in a longer term trend and holding that 21 EMA. Apple more on the Tesla side of things, just in a short term downtrend below the 200 day moving average as well. That's this MA right here and has yet to really get anything going. Um, I believe it got hit with some uh, some news event here. I forget exactly what it was. Uh, maybe let me know down below in the comments. But uh, regardless, in terms of the price action for quite some time, it hasn't been a focus. Uh, Google, a little bit stronger, but still you know, not ideal. We're not seeing clean trends. We're seeing a lot of choppiness, uh, but we are above those moving averages. And 
would like to see it kind of change character and start to trend and respect those MAs um, after uh, since this kind of gap up right here. And lastly, we've got NVIDIA, uh, which has progressed beautifully since this three month base, uh, respecting that 21 EMA and uh, is starting to move up again. You had a early pivot right here and let's actually go ahead and uh, show RMV uh, right here. You had a spot where it pulled back, got nice and tight, uh, nice tight inside day, gap up and now really nice progression upwards here on Friday. Uh, is potentially, you know, entering the past three, four days, you had nice action off the open right here. That would have been a really nice low risk entry point, undercutting and reclaiming this range right here, where I'll go ahead and draw that in for you guys. So you've got the high there and you've got the low here, nice undercut and reclaim of that and uh, nice progression into the end of the week. Uh, so this is really the strongest, of course, of the MAG7, whatever you want to call them, the mega caps. Uh, but it's good to see Microsoft also performing quite well. So that's pretty much it in terms of the indexes. Key themes, obviously, NVIDIA represents the AI theme, semiconductor theme as well. Uh, Microsoft as well, um, you know, along with uh, the open, open AI links that they have. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, things are pretty much in an uptrend. Nice progression since the start of last week. Moving on now to uh, my wide list. Let's go over a few more names here. First of all, Wingstop. This is also a theme that I've been watching, uh, kind of the these food names. Let me open up the chart a little bit. So hotels, restaurants, leisure. Uh, these have been acting quite well. Shake Shack also in this space. But Wing, nice action off the upside reversal. Um, CELH progressing really nicely from this base. Uh, pull back, undercut the 10 EMA here, uh, but held that 21 EMA area and uh, is tight to end out last week. So maybe needs a little bit more of chop, uh, but would, would be great to see some reconfirmation to the upside. Uh, AMD, of course, is also in the semi theme, uh, but you can just see that NVIDIA is stronger, um, just placing those two charts side by side, pulling back into this prior base area and not really getting much going. We're at that 50 day moving average spot as well as kind of the top of this prior base. So could see some lift off that area, but has yet to really show that. And it's just a lot weaker than Nvidia in, gen in general, especially since this reversal down. Um, Arm also in that theme, I like how this is acting a lot more than AMD, really tight to end out last week. So could add through that pivot, really tight inside day to end out uh, you know, uh, this week on Friday. And you can see RMV pulling down all the way to zero. MU, a uh, recent gap up on earnings, uh, nice action, upside reversal today. So this could be the one to watch going forward. Uh, let's see if there's any other names that I really wanted to highlight today. Um, Uber progressing well, responded from this moving average, reclaimed the 21 EMA. And uh, you know a lot of stocks ended the week similar to this, tight days, uh, which is constructive. Uh, coin, let's talk about that chart just because it kind of represents the blockchain theme, that kind of institutional leader in, in in terms of that uh, key group, uh, you've got a pullback to this prior, uh, you know, unfilled gap area. Uh, so want to see this be supported and maybe build out this flag for a few more days and then reconfirm to the upside. Um, I wanted to highlight, I think one more. Um, I'll just go ahead and search it. I can't find it here. Uh, CrowdStrike. This one, semi, uh, not semiconductors, cybersecurity. Uh, this is definitely the leader here. And, uh, you know, hasn't quite acted the same since this downside reversal, but it has held that 21 EMA area and really nice reversal here on Friday. So watching for reconfirmation to the upside. Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, we talked about the key indexes, the key themes in the market as well, and highlighted some of the key leaders uh, that represent those groups. So in terms of everything, things look pretty good. Really like that rebound this week. And it looks like maybe a few more days of chop um, or some reconfirmation to the upside uh, is in the cards uh, early next week. But obviously, we don't have to predict. We just have to interpret what's going on in real time and trade accordingly. So best of luck uh, next week. Hopefully, hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.